Scorpio friends, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I hope you guys are all doing well. So Scorpio, this is going to be for Scorpio Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. September 22nd to October 6th, 2019. I really, honestly, cannot believe we are here already, but we are. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Scorpio, please take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and definitely watch your other signs. I cannot stress how important it is to do that, as it does give you, you know, such a, a much bigger picture of what's going on. I am using the Everyday Witch Tarot deck for you guys. I'm also pulling you by Lucy Cavendish, um, Oracle of the Shadows and Light. Great deck. Love Lucy Cavendish. All right, Scorpio. Me situated here. All right, here we go. Scorpio, Spirit, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. September 22nd, October 6th, 2019. Scorpio. And Scorpio, those of you, you know, that would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Instant Go. You know, links to everything that you guys need are right below the video in the description box. I am live on Facebook twice a week, sometimes three. Sunday, fun day, your weekly general reading on Wednesday. And we have a lot of fun. They're winning tarot decks over there. Brand new ones. Some slightly used. Well. <laughs> Definitely reading for some men here. King of Cups. All right, let me grab your Oracle card. No, not these ones. I want these ones for you guys. This is the front of them. Only red in the upright. Those of you that do follow me on Facebook Live, you know the card's got a pop for me. Just like that. We'll look at that in a minute. Okay, so, Scorpio, you're at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, definitely reading for some of you males. Others of you could be dealing with the Scorpio Cancer Pisces person. Um, oh, wow, the Eight of Wands is under here. And the Two of Pentacles. Wow. And then the Tower. Tower. 
So you guys have definitely gone through something big. So, you know, eight of wands, text messages, emails, you know, lots of internet. Oh, I'm sorry. I need to move this camera. What I really need to do. I'm sorry. I was messing around here. Um... You know, internet communication, text messages. You know, the two of pentacles, you probably, Scorpio, definitely need to make a decision. Or maybe someone else does. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Scorpio. With the tower being under there too, I mean, you have the star here as well, not to jump the gun. If you don't make a decision, the universe is going to literally just step in and do it for you. I'm sorry guys, I need to fix this light. Okay, that's better. There we go. You probably need to make a decision, Scorpio, as far as you make you know, you communicating with this person. You know, the two of pentacles, you definitely could be going back and forth about it. You know, others of you could be, you know, juggling. You know, maybe trying to find you know, time time for someone over the next two weeks. And you also may have a lot going on. Your overall energy is the, the Knight of Swords. You know, and this is someone that wants to charge forward, you know, forward very quickly. So, some of you could be, you know, doing something very quickly, very suddenly. You know, if you're not hearing from... A water sign person, you know, you personally, Scorpio, could be reaching out to someone. I think some of you are thinking about reaching out to someone. I definitely feel like it is something it's it's something you're thinking about and i feel like once your mind is made up you're just going to take action and just make sudden moves here and you're not going to back down you're not going to give up with the 9 of wands You know, and next to, you know, next to this, the Queen of Pentacles. So some of you definitely could be dealing with the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, female. You know, if you're reaching out to someone, this is definitely going to be the person, Scorpio. Maybe them, you. Uh, but I, I just don't think so. You're, it's like, you know, Scorpio, I feel like really they don't even, they don't even, they don't even know. They have no idea. That you're fighting for them, standing up for them. They're just doing their own thing.
others of uh, others of you definitely you know it could be something financial holding out waiting on on someone you know even wanting to move up within your career waiting to hear from someone waiting to be promoted you know this is someone that is you know waited with the nine of wands and has been patient with waiting for something for a very long time. It could be waiting to sign something. Definitely with justice here. Definitely waiting on signing something. Some of you could be waiting on some kind of like legal resolution, a settlement, or something like that. But with justice, really, and the Ace of Swords sitting right next to this Scorpio. I mean, this is absolutely going to be very fair, favorable outcome. This is definitely a card of victory. Definitely, which would make sense. You know, in a private reading, I would typically take the bottom three to see what led up to this. And, or, the, or for some of you, maybe it's a time frame. You know, if, if you didn't go through challenges or something didn't end or explode but you do you do have the ten of wands under here and then ironically the nine of pentacles which is single being single due to burdens stress the cycle definitely completed for you big shake up Probably due to juggling, but I mean, this is total victory. And wow, I just realized this. Remember before when I said that this earth sign doesn't see you coming? If they have Libra in their chart, they don't, they're blindfolded. They don't, they really don't see you coming. They don't see that you're fighting for them. They just don't. Or vice versa. Communication definitely needs to be had. But you are absolutely, Scorpio, overcoming challenges, obstacles. That is as clear as day here. You're overcoming all of this. Definitely just in, justice coming in. You know, some of you, you know, you, if, if something did happen, you know, some of you could have even been sued, Scorpio. Definitely. Some of you could have been sued. Which is interesting because I, under this, the Tower, the Ten of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and then Judgment. <laughs> and then the Moon. This is all your energy. All of it. Or this started around the full Moon, which was September 13th. You know, for a percent of you, this is definitely a legal, a legal matter. You know, the Nine of Wands is someone that has already fought really, really hard. And they're going to continue to fight very, very hard. You know, even though, you know, you might be feeling exhausted, tired, 
exhausted. This person does have a lot of inner strength. They don't give up easily. It is a card about perseverance. So some of you are definitely persevering. And that is absolutely going to pay off with justice here. The Ace of Swords. For those of you that it's legal, a legal matter, you absolutely could be hearing from your attorney over the next two weeks. There is so much truth, clarity, and enlightening, and enlightenment coming in for you. It's amazing. And, you know, the Knight of Swords can be, you know, again, very sudden, hectic energy. Those of you that are hearing something, you know, where things may have been, you know, in prior, you know, things have been slow moving, stagnant. They're about to really pick up the pace. Things are, are definitely picking up and, and really starting to happen. And you know, Scorpio, no matter how you resonate with this reading, some of you are definitely going through a period of growth, I feel. I feel like some of you could be really growing spiritually or becoming more spiritual. I swear I said this to you guys not too long ago. I feel like some of you are absolutely learning to trust your intuition more. Really, for some of you, it is a really good time of growth for you. And you, and you probably had to you know, go through certain things to get where you are right, ne right now. Mirroring justice over here, you do have the Ten of Swords. With the Tower, something happened. A big ending happened. Suddenly, totally out of the blue. I think you ended it, Scorpio. If something did happen, um, you know, if some of you were betrayed, stabbed in the back, whatever it was, if something happened to you and it wasn't fair, Scorpio, or you just went through some major shit, the cycle is completing. The worst is, de I mean, that's another 10. You had the 10 of wands under there too. And, and the ace, the cycle is absolutely completing. The worst is behind you. I mean, this cycle is ending. And, you know, Scorpio, you do have this beautiful healing energy with the sun and the star. With the Ten of Swords. So, I absolutely, positively, the sun, the star, the Ten of Swords... The worst is absolutely behind you. Some of you could have had minor surgery, definitely here. Minor, minor surgery. 
Okay. Um, I don't want to say this. You know, but this, you know, the sun and the star together, which I, I seldom see in readings, honestly. This is major, major healing. And I definitely feel somewhat like some of you are growing spiritually. I really do get that strongly. There is no doubt that this, there is a difficult time that's completing for you, Scorpio. No doubt. Definitely something has been draining. But Scorpio, listen, as soon as you start to heal, you're going to have so much more energy Even if it's surgery that you have coming up over the next two weeks, you know, it's the most positive card in the entire deck. It's you ha feeling enthusiastic, passionate, feeling good, keeping the faith, staying positive is important. I'm going to be honest, Scorpio. I don't typically get a reading like this for you, but I really love it. Because for many of you, I do strongly feel this is spiritual growth in some way, shape, or form. You know, you could be learning to trust yourself, your intuition. Guys, you do, I say, I, I say this to you guys a lot. You are the second, Virgo, I'm first. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> But you guys are the second most intuitive sign in the Zodiac. You are. Many of you, this is spiritual growth. Learning to trust yourself, your intuition, and beautiful healing energy. Others of you could have a legal matter that's been ongoing. You probably had to fight for something. Something was done to you. It wasn't fair. But again, you have justice here. Fairness is coming in. Justice will be served. Justice is the yes card. If you're going through a divorce, it's like the outcome is going to be... I'm going to be honest. If it's a divorce, it feels very amicable. It really does. And they all, and it's going to be very, very fair for everyone involved. There could be things taking place over the next two weeks that are happen happening, you know, really very suddenly, quick. I mean, especially. I mean, I would just the Knight of Swords in itself, but the Eight of Wands, too. It's like blink, and it's like, holy shit, what do I do first? You know? That kind of energy. It could be for some of you. Very suddenly. You know, everything happening all at once. You know, interesting reading, Scorpio. It really is. Those of you that are dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, you're most likely dealing with a Virgo. You know, with the Sun, the Ace of Swords, for those of you that are hearing from someone or you're receiving news, the Sun and the Ace of Swords, I mean... This is, this is big. I swear another sign got this, and I swear it was Virgo. Because it's their birthday season. In a different deck. 
this is going to be huge news, big clarity that's coming in for you. It is a very, very interesting reading, Scorpio. Definitely please watch your other signs. Wow. So this is like celebrating. Go and have fun. Literally, go and have fun. Once you receive this news, celebrate. And again, and I do feel powerful, powerful healing energy coming in for some of you. So for some of you, you you're definitely going to have a lot to, 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 to celebrate. You know, let loose, let go, have fun. So no matter... Scorpio, what has been, no matter what's been done to you, it could have just even been just a tough cycle, but definitely for others of you, it could have been something, you know, unfair that happened to you. And for some of you, it really is time to move on, move forward from this difficult cycle that is completing, really. Because there's really, Scorpio, there's good things in store for you. A lot of success. Big communication card. You guys have a lot of communication, a lot of clarity coming through. This is for Scorpios that really need communication, waiting on communication healing or growing spiritually it really is beautiful i love it all right scorpio absolutely love you guys if it didn't resonate again please watch your other signs i'll see you guys back here with your monthly general readings bye